Hey, VC, it's Mazzy here. Burbank, California. People often ask us why we chose to locate our Warner Brothers record company here in Burbank instead of in Hollywood or New York like other record companies. Well, we like to tell them about the friendly folk around these parts and our distinctive climate. Then we remind them about the plastic and the fact that we happen to be situated right over the world's largest and richest deposit of pure vinyl. We take this naturally perfect vinyl from the earth because no other vinyl is so ideally suited to the record manufacturing process. True. Warner Brothers records just have to sound better. So next time you're in the neighborhood, stop by. We'll be glad to show you things like Scully Lathes, Acme de Gausers, and Padis Rectifiers. But most important, you'll have an opportunity to sample our world famous vinyl. Next time your ears are thirsty, remember Warner Brothers records. It's the plastic. Hey, friends. Um, it's the plastic, Warner Brothers records. I tell you, when I was growing up, my favorite label, bar none, was Warner Brothers records. I mean, they had an amazing array of artists, and they stuck with artists. They built artists. Think of artists like that weren't selling a lot, like Van Morrison and Van Dyke Parks and Randy Newman and Ry Cooter and Bonnie Raitt and Little Feet and on and on and on. But um, in 1969, I opened up one of those records and I pulled out the liner notes. And this is not the original one, but it was much like this. Um, and I noticed a picture of this record and basically, you could send away for $2 for this Lost Leader album. And it was a double album. This was the first one that they put out. For two bucks, I got 40 selections. Van Dyke Parks, Randy Newman, Joni Mitchell, Arlo Guthrie, the Everly Brothers, Sweetwater, Eric Anderson, Miriam McKeeba, Family, Van Morrison, The Kinks, The Electric Prunes, The Fugs, Tiny Tim, The Mothers of Invention, Wildman Fisher, Pentangle, Neil Young, Sal Valentino, the Bo Brummels, Jethro Tull, and Jimi Hendrix. And usually these sometimes were uh, deep cuts from the albums, sometimes outtakes or B-sides, and sometimes rare tracks. And so I started collecting these, and I have virtually every single one. But Warner Brothers Lost Leaders, that's what this video is going to be about and um, I'm not gonna get into the whole details of Warner Brothers records, and I won't obviously list every song on these because there's just too many to, you know, to, to talk about. But um, a lot of it had to do with their great, great marketing and design department and a guy named Stan Cornyn. Stan Cornyn worked for Warner Brothers Records for three decades, put out this book in the, I think the mid 2000s, Great, great book on the record business. It's called Exploding the Highs, Hits, Hypes, Heroes, and Hustlers of the Warner Music Group. Uh, you know, later they became Warner Electric. They bought Electra Records uh, uh, from Jacques Holtzman. And then you probably know after that, WEA, W-E-A, all through the 70s into the 80s was WIA when they kind of hooked up and bought um, and merged with uh, Atlantic Records. But this book is his autobiography somewhat, but more of a an overview historical uh, history of Warner Brothers Records. Hysterical at times, tragic at times, the ups and downs and the fuck ups in the record business, but highly recommended book for you music geeks. And um, Stan was one of the guys who wrote a lot of the liner notes and, the, and came up conceptually with uh, his group, his uh, marketing group at Warner Brothers in Burbank for this series of records. So I'm gonna quickly, fuck it, quickly. I, people always say here, I'm gonna do a quick video. Ends up being 40 minutes and you know three joints and two martinis and a case of beer later. But um, I'm gonna take as long as I need to. And you can stop, you know, you can go take a piss, you can go have a cocktail, you can do whatever you do and uh, come back later. But um, 
What's great about these, they always had uh, books inside, little uh, pamphlets and a description of each artist. For instance, the Kinks picture book is on here. Uh, Electric Prunes, Finer's Keepers, The Fugs. Anyway, uh, samplers. So I tell you, I bought a lot of records by hearing one or two tracks on uh, this series. So they're somewhat in order here. And if um, I'm off order, you know, suck it up and live with it. But their, their concepts were pretty funny. The 1969 Warner Reprise record show was another one. Um, Mothers of Invention, Ben Eight Parks again, Jethro Tull this time. Again, the Kinks, Everly Brothers. So a lot of the same artists. Uh, David Blue, Jimi Hendrix, Theodore Bikel, The Grateful Dead, The Fugs, Fats Domino. So that's another one. Um, Big Ball. Again, conceptually, art direction. Ed Thrasher was, I think, the head of the art department at the time, Did worked on a lot of these. You know, the Fifth Avenue Band, John Sebastian, Beach Boys, Jeff Muldar, just Eric Anderson, Norman Greenbaum, um, from the Spirit in the Spot, stop that, Spirit in the Sky album, but a song called Jubilee. Um, but again, you know, great stuff. I'm glad I kept all these too. I know you can find them in stores. Um, here and there, you know, pick them up, they're fun. And actually, the mastering on these is always really good. They're very early pressings. Um, this is a fun one I got. I remember as a kid, I almost skipped this one, Schlagers. And it's, it is exactly what it seems. Um, Petula Clark, the Watts 103rd Street Rhythm Band, Peter Paul and Mary, Ella Fitzgerald, Trini Lopez, Glenn Yarborough, uh, the Vogues, Theodore Bikel, kind of the sh the schmaltzy stuff. Although there's some good country stuff, like oh, there's Mal Mason Williams. Uh, there's the Mike Post Coalition. There's Doug Kershaw, some Randy Newman. So it's not the rockers, but it's. Um, I mean, look at that artwork, right? Just the artwork alone on these is great. And I'll continue. Then there was um, Zapped, which had things from the Bizarre label. Straight Records Bazaar, which Reprise picked up. And I don't know all the history, but I have Zapped that's slightly different art direction. Two different copies of Zapped here. And who's on this? Um, Judy Hensky and Jerry Yester. That's great stuff. Alice Cooper, Captain Beefheart, uh, Wildman Fisher, Alice Cooper, Lord Buckley, Zappa, GTOs, Jeff Simmons. So these were single discs. As you see, most of their releases were double discs, were two bucks a piece, these were a buck. But um, I, it wasn't like a subscription thing, but again, I just sent for every single one. And uh, they'd come in the mail every once in a while. This was, the I think, the only one at the time, which is a box set, three record box set, but look at that. You know, I should have ended with, uh, 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 that's all folks. But um, this one has a, a separate book inside, three LPs. And I'll just give you a quick overview. It's, you know, Pearls Before Swine, James Taylor, Harper's Bazaar, Van Dyke Parks, Beaver and Krauss, great synthesizer, early um, conceptual, uh, Arlo Guthrie, um, The Beach Boys, Captain Beefheart, More Zappa and Mothers. It has um, Dreamland by Van Morrison from the streetcar, from the street, his band and street uh, choir. Sugar Magnolia, Grateful Dead. And these sound amazing. Wright Cooter. You know how I like Wright Cooter. The John Simon album. And it's got the Elf song. I mean, it's worth it. I bought the two John Simon albums because of this. And in fact, those of you who are new to my station, go back and watch the a video I did on John Simon, who was you know, more known as for his production, like producing the first couple band albums. Music from Big Pink. Um, and Cheap Thrills, which he wasn't thrilled with, actually. Um, then there was Non-Dairy Creamer, a single LP. Curved Air, John and Beverly Martin, Ron Nagel, Tony Joe White. Anyway, artwork. Stan Cron I mean, Little Feet. I mean, the copy on some of this stuff and the, just the concepts are hysterical. Here's a great cover. This has uh, Strange Kind of Woman by Deep Purple. John Baldry, It Ain't Easy. 
T-Rex, Hot Love, Randy Newman, Paul Stuckey, Norman Greenbaum, Mor um, Gordon Lightfoot. The Kinks, man, they really tried to push the Kinks, and I don't know if they uh, ever got it back. But again, Beaver and Krause, Mother Earth, Big Mama Thornton. Right? I know I say right a lot, but there you go. Love this stuff, love this stuff. Warner Brothers, again, what a golden age of Warner Brothers, late 60s into the 70s especially. Um, together, single disc. Faces, Long John Baldry, Crazy Horse. T-Rex, more T-Rex, Mother Earth, the Doobie Brothers, you know? Again, I'm just gonna give you a little sample. Now, those of you of a certain age will remember the whole Earth catalog. Do you remember those? Come on. Google if you don't, but they recreated this, the whole Burbank catalog. And remember, this is after, after, after a time where Warner Brothers, Burbank became famous in the late 60s because of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, beautiful downtown Burbank, which is, if you don't know it, it's over the hill from Hollywood and in the valley, kind of, um, you know, Warner Brothers, studio lots there. Um, some of you LA people will know it well. I used to go there for work all the time and go to the old famous chalet, which was uh, the office that just closed earlier this year after, you know, I don't know how many times I went to the chalet, which was a building that looked sort of like a chalet, an office building when I was representing, well, actually when I was first in the record business then representing photographers, I'd go down to the art department and see people at Warner Brothers. And of course they always would bring me to the promo room or give me promos, which is cool. but. Again, whole Burbank catalog. Uh, Arthur Alexander, Jerry Garcia, The Wheel, Jackie Lomax, Daddy Cool, um, Arthur Alexander, America, Todd Rundgren. You know, these things are great just for tracks here and there. And I'm sure Bonnie Raitt, Kenny Young, Ramblin' Jack Elliott. You know, there's probably a list somewhere. And I don't have this, I don't know this, but I'd love to know more if, if there's certain cuts that are call outs that are kind of rare and, and to check out. But I'm gonna, I might just put these on later and play them because it's just fun stuff. And you get turned on to music you never thought you'd like, you know. Um, but anyway, you know where this uh, concept came from, obviously. Burbank, how great is that? What a sense of humor, taken off from a, another label's artist, you know. Good thing there's no Roman numerals on this, but I think this is all you needed, really. Uh, Burbank, more John Renburn, Martin Mall, Deep Purple, Curved Air, Tower of Power. Oh man, John Renborn. Again, you know, it's in the plastic, as they say. Let's see, The Days of Wine and Roses. Another one. Tim Buckley, Arlo Guthrie, Jesse Winchester, amongst others. Harper's Bazaar, Sparks, early Sparks before Island, wow. Memphis Slim, Roxy Music, Norman Greenbaum, they're really pushing Norman, aren't they? John Hartford, Memphis Slim. Youngbloods. Appetizers, I think we're getting into the, what, what year is this now? Mid 70s, Fog Hat, Beach Boy, Sea Train, T-Rex, Steel Ice Span, Incredible String Band, Todd Rundgren, John Cale, Bert Jench, Little Feet, Arla Guthrie, Seals, and Crawford and Morrison. More of that. All Meat. Burbank's finest, it all comes back to Burbank for Warner Brothers, doesn't it, right? Jeff Muldar, John Renton, Curtis Mayfield, Wendy Waldman, The Faces, James Taylor, The Doobie Brothers, you know? I should get some music here, but I don't want to get, um... oh, I think this is where I first got into, and I'd never got into it. If that's silent, if that was silent, that was Black Sabbath. 
I don't know why I put that on. It's just I didn't know about Black Sabbath until um, until that. Anyway, peaches. Again, some of these are off the Warners, and they're related. They're not part of the actual Lost Leader series, but some of the Warner group uh, put out some things. I believe this was from more of the Capricorn country or, or country rock stuff. Almond Brothers, Dwayne Almond, uh, Travis Wamick, Bobby Whitlock, uh, Kitty Wells, Marshall Tucker Band. So you know where that's coming from, the whole Atlanta southern uh, side of uh, Wea, again, coming from Capricorn Records. And uh, those of you, there was two volumes. Yeah, this is okay. This is a sampler from Capricorn. There are two volumes of Peaches, um, and not to be confused with the Peaches record chain that I think was in L.A. in the South. Um, we didn't have it up in the Bay Area, but I certainly knew about it. Went into a couple of their stores over the years. I don't have Peaches Volume 1. So if somebody wants to send me Volume 1 as a VCL... VCL Love, Love Train, VCL Tape, by all means, Peaches Volume 1, Mazzy's Missing. Um, another one, and there's a track, someone called me about this, Hard Goods. No comment. Um, that goes back to my Stiff Records video for talking about Hard Goods. But um, someone asked me about this a few years ago, that there's a certain track that's really rare on this, and I can't remember what it was. But it has like Grand Central Station, Montrose, Doobie Brothers, Ted, Ted Nugent's and the Amboy Dukes. I hate that fucker. Uh, Talbot Brothers, Foghat, Zappa, Rundgren, Neil Young with Graham Nash, War Song. Um, Dooley Wolfs. Oh, okay. We got to end with that. I'm, I'm almost finished here. But uh, I think if I'm going to end something for Warner Brothers, there's got to be a song I put on from a Warner Brothers classic movie that um, I think they'll let it stay here. And I'll put it on as I talk about the last two I have that aren't part of that same collection, but one is Deep Ear. Um, anyway, Deep Ear, Jimmy Cliff, Elvin Bishop, Doug Somm, Little Feet, and The Force, Warner Brothers. So, uh, this, I don't think, was... Yeah, Ed Thrasher again. He, the great designer at Warner Brothers designed this, too. This was, like, in the... When was this? 1974. Uh, Debbie Dawn, Maria Moldar, Greg Allman, Van Morrison, Jan and Dean, Percy Sledge, Jethro Tull, Bungle in the Jungle. But anyway, I just wanted to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. You know, tell your kids to subscribe. Tell everyone else to subscribe. Hey, as time goes by. Oh, I can't remember it myself. I'm a little rusty on I'll hunt for you. You must remember me. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Wilson on the ivories. Fade to black.